Green or red? What's best for you? Earlier this year, you'll remember that I showed you folks a new firewood marker called the Firewood Pro Sizer. It's made by Bob Wetter and his wife Em down in Washington in the US. Made in the USA, developed and designed by Bob, who as you folks probably know is a longtime logger and sawyer. He's got a big firewood business down there. And although he's getting a little bit older, it's keeping him young. As you folks know, it quickly became one of my two favorite firewood markers I use out here all the time. In fact, it stays right on the handle of my 261. It's a red laser, simple to use, practical, good value for the money as many of you have found. However, based on a lot of the good feedback that I received, as well as the inquiries that Bob and M got on their website, it quickly became apparent that if you're colorblind, you can't see the color red. So Bob and M got to work. It took a long time to produce a green laser and to go through all the regulatory approvals in order to be able to produce it and ship it. It's now live on their website, so you can get the standard Pro Sizer or the Swivel model with either a green or a red laser, depending on what suits your eyesight better. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna compare them together. Bob and M were kind enough to send me the green laser version, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount both the red and the green side by side, or one below the other, on the handle of my 261, and we're gonna test it out today. We're gonna buck a few logs. Today is a great day to do the comparison. We have a nice clear sky with a bright midday sun shining down on that log pile. So we're gonna do one set of comparison tests, bucking logs in the pile. Then we're gonna jump in the tractor and head off into the forest. I'm gonna find a nice shady spot where we've got a log laying around. And we're gonna buck up that log in the shade just to see what the difference is between the brightness or the intensity of both the red and the green light. I hope you'll stick around. And if any of you good folks are looking for some helpful tips or to see an installation video, I'll post the link right up here on the top right hand side of your screen to the installation video I did when I first got my Pro Sizer months and months ago. I hope it's helpful. Let's do it. Bob mentioned to me that they had to go through another set of regulatory approvals on the green laser because the color green is in fact a higher intensity laser than the red laser. That means I think in my own words it's a brighter light or, or more intense brightness to it. What that means though, or what that translates to you and I, is that you're going to get about half the battery life before charging with the green laser as you do with the red one. And as you folks have seen over the last year, I can buck logs all day long with the red one before I need to charge it, but the green one I think is going to give you about half a day, from what I understand. The green and the red are both available for the standard original Pro Sizer, as well as the newly released swivel model, which I have on my saw today. And hey, if you folks are looking for a gift for that special someone or that Sawyer in the family, Bob and M are running a special from now until December 31st. If you do purchase a green swivel model Pro Sizer, they're gonna throw in a bonus red laser as a special Christmas gift between now and December 31st. All right, I charged both of these fully last night and you'll see that I've purposely offset the lights so they're not both at 16 inches. I've left the red one at 16, but I wanted to move the green over so that there was at least an inch or two between the two lights when we start bucking those logs. Let's check it out. direct sunlight middle of the day I know what my naked eye saw but I'm looking forward to seeing what the footage looks like let's head into the forest and find a shady spot
Well, for me, I can still see the red really clearly, but I also see the green, it is bright. But the great thing now is Bob and Emma's made sure that you have a choice, whether you have a difficulty seeing red because of color blindness, or you, know, you just happen to be able to see one color better than the other. I like them both. I hope today's video has been really helpful for folks. Wanted to send out a special thanks again to Bob and M down in Washington. I appreciate you sending me up the green laser and I hope the comparison side by side in different types of light has helped you folks out. If you haven't tried out the Firewood Processor yet, check out their website at firewoodprocessor.com. And hey, if you're still looking for a gift for that someone hard to buy, that outdoorsman, maybe this is it. Thanks so much for sticking around. Have a great week with your families. Please be kind to each other. And I'll see you again right here. I'm Gord Potter, and you've been watching GP Outdoors. Cheers.